Don't trust your memory, write everything down. This is what I told myself in the last six months of actually journaling. And now looking through all of the pages in my mood tracker, oh boy, what a roller coaster. Why track my mood? Why get into the whole productivity thing? Well, it's because I decided to kind of pivot my life into a different direction. I was actually doing really well in the last three years. So like what you mentioned, it's a classic way to play this map in Black Ops. And they were able to pull that off here in Call of Duty Mobile. It was a very fun job that brought me into a lot of different countries. And I'm so grateful for the experience. And through journaling, I realized that I wanted to expand and beyond esports because there are a lot of industries and topics that I do want to cover as a host, as a public speaker. So how I track my mood is the five point system by Jim Collins. And I actually found out about this by watching a Matt Diavella video and multiple other videos as well talking about this whole five point system. Starting off with negative two, meaning it's a terrible day, negative one being a bad day, zero being neutral, plus one being a good day, and plus two being a fantastic day. And this is pretty much kind of oversimplified because obviously when it comes to emotions, it is immeasurable. But that's where the description alongside each day comes along. I've had a lot of moments where I started the day off really well and then something happens at the end of the day that has made a plus two day into a negative one. So I do note that transition in my plotter notebook. And speaking of, this is my three-step process. First off, I usually put it over here. And this is what I bring with me every single day. I have a time log where I track everything that is significant. And at the very end of the day or the week, I do transfer over the things that I wrote from the plotter to my Loish Term 1917 A7 notebook. The reason why I love this so much is because in the start of the notebook, you do get to see a project plan that is split into six months. Again, you can actually put anything you want here. You're not really bound to just a mood journal. And then going into the meat of the journal, it is split into seven days on the left page and on the right, you can add more descriptions if you want to. In a span of 182 days, I've had 11 bad days. January 22, I got my wisdom tooth removed. It was not a pleasant experience. And the worst thing is I couldn't eat properly. I love food. Inversely, I had 68 good days. May 25, I hosted Cyberzone in SM North Edsa. This was my first stage hosting gig. Kinda scary. I feel like I did okay. But again, there's a first for everything and your first will most likely not be the best. I had 18 neutral days. May 12, Sunday reset. I usually take Sundays as a time to kind of breathe and clean my room. In the six months that I journaled, I've had five terrible days. And three out of those five days involved with working with the wrong person. And so this is when I realized that I should be working with like-minded people who really just respect my work and time as well. So out of the 182 days, I had 80 fantastic days. Damn, that's a lot of green. April 19 to 25, I went to Japan. Ate the best sushi of my life. And this is where I noticed that I close my eyes when I enjoy really good food. And of course, I also found the plotter, which you haven't seen my video about the plotter. Link is in the description. June 27, I went to Escota with Mickey. So Benondo is a place that I love so much. It is very dear to my heart. Whoa. June 29 to 30, I hosted for the MSI 20th anniversary oh. event. MSI! Oh. And I got a tweet from a person that I admired very much in the industry that I'm in. I kind of just put the nail in the coffin of my self-doubt. Don't get me wrong, a lot of people who I really admire and respect have also given me similar comments. It was filling up my cup, you know, it was my cup of like self-love and confidence in my work. And hers was like that, that last one that just like overflowed everything. What an analogy, but yes. <laughs> 
The second step really varies because I prefer putting my thoughts down on a physical notebook just because I know that it would outlast me and also I like owning something that is mine and not really putting it on an application that a company owns. But yeah, do anything that helps you write down your thoughts, whether it be through pixels or pen strokes. And for the last step, I added to a Google Sheet that already has formulas. Got this template over at Accidentally Retired. I'll add the link in the description. Here's the only thing, I feel like there was a bug in terms of uh, making this formula. And so I asked help with someone I know who is very well versed in terms of Google Sheets. Call a friend option, please. I hope he's awake. Oh! Oh! Hello! Hello. Do you know how to use Sheets? Of course you do. I know you do. Okay, why did I ask that? Well, that's why I called you. <laughs> sure. All right. Say hi to the video. Oh my God, I'm famous now. Yeah, that's enough. Go away. Thank you. All he did was actually just change the formula of the yearly 2024 review. As you can see, like on the tab itself, it gets its information from the 2023 tab, which is not correct. It has to come from the 2024. All right, the reason why it is important for me to track my mood is because I get data that I otherwise wouldn't see when I just put it in my mood journal. I can see over here that Tuesday and Wednesdays are my best days, and I realized that when the making of this video, oh, it's because I have most of my date nights here. And on Fridays, it's the worst. My events, my work days are on Fridays or weekends. Fridays in Manila are so chaotic because it's so traffic. It is the most densely populated city in the world. I haven't had a bad day since April. So that's pretty good, right? With June being the best month that I have so far. Sometimes people don't really like seeing these averages again to each their own. It's when you know certain patterns kind of just emerge and help you even further to discover new things about yourself. So yeah, that recaps all the days. And usually at the very end of the month, I list out all the things that I am proud of, that I feel good about. Because again, life happens. If you're too busy, make sure to come back to it. You can also set up an alarm. I personally don't. Because I've already kind of put in my head that I should be doing this as second nature. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about this whole mood tracking thing. And also, if you do mood tracking yourself, again, let's talk about it.